Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat. Today I'm playing the first five minutes of Defy Gravity. Clear my save game here. This is a cute little, uh, cute's the wrong word. Nice little three dollar game. A little bit of mix of Portal and some others. Uh, a lot of gravity related stuff. <laughs> and you're being defiant. Um, you have these two sorts of guns. I guess it's one gun that does two things. You use the trigger on your uh, controller if you have one, which I recommend. You can see the tips at the top. This is sort of a tutorial level. Um, you create gravity wells with uh, the right trigger and then anti-gravity wells with the left trigger. And you clear them with the buttons above those if you're on an Xbox 360 controller, which I recommend. Um, you can switch back and forth and shut the, uh, the gravity wells off, and you get, I think, two per shot. <laughs> and I die in this game quite a bit also. Um, but it's really quite fabulous. Uh, they give you these markers during the tutorial after that, you're on, the, on your own. But you use a combination of jumping and these gravity wells to get through some interesting puzzles. The uh, first several minutes of it were great, the first time I went through it. And uh, you can see they add increasingly more challenge in the tutorial as you go along. And eventually the tutorial will go away and you're just playing the game, which is pretty smooth. Um, and yeah, it died again. Here we go. I'll get through this shortly. Just shoot a little farther, jump, over, flow. Ah. But then you get to these gold things, and those are influenced by the gravity also, um, which is a neat idea. And various elements in the game are gold, and uh, you'll see platforms like these later, these red ones fall away. There's some gold ones that you can influence uh, with your gravity wells, hopefully better than I'm doing here. And uh, you can push them around and pull them out of your way, etc. Right now, I'm making up my mind. Anti Pro-gravity, pro-gravity, and then jump across, and through. And it's really a clean little game for the three bucks that you'll pay for it. Um, the puzzles are interesting without being too painfully hard, and they do a great job of being progressively difficult and not uh, dumping you into a place where you're stuck. And there's loads of ways to come at the problems. Um, it can get a bit frantic choosing the right gravity well, and switching between them and shutting them off so you don't run out, um, which adds another layer of interest. It's not just like stare at your screens or puzzling. It's a little more active, and since it's not permadeath, you can keep trying and keep trying, which is what I consistently have to do, but it's, uh, it's well worth trying. It's a surprisingly rewarding little game. And here we go with a longer jumping puzzle problem. There's really vast, vast the right word. Here I go and die. <laughs> Sorry. I die often. Okay, let's try again. So there's these equally spaced things that go across this chasm. The questions are, do you try and stay above it? Do you try and go below? Do you hop across them? Somewhere down here there's the presumption of a door. Uh, there are these little spiky bomb things that float up into your way as you go to make it challenging or more challenging and no no wrong way got my gravity wells backwards uh, okay this time let's just jump across one at a uh, time this is the exciting part of the video <laughs> where you just get to watch me jump on these balls until we get all the way across or most of the way so that's one way to come at this problem and gravity well up and over and jump and through the door. So not too bad. You'll probably come up with a much better way to solve this. So now we've got some of these gold platforms I was mentioning earlier. And I have a shield thing that you can turn on with the B button to walk through different gravity wells. So they basically don't influence you when you have that on. You can toggle it on and off with B. Or there is another button, I think, Y or X, that you can, ah, that you can uh, hold down. Sorry, I'm going to hit the thing. Maybe not. That you can hold down to um, not be influenced by the gravity, which is a neat choice. And in this case, the gold thing I'm sitting on is what's being drawn by the gravity wells. I'm pushed away by the 
anti gravity things. So now we gotta get past this little ball thing. And the goal is to keep, in this case, is to keep this thing with you all the way across, because apparently you could just jump or gravity well your way through it all. And I recall eventually you'll lose the. Don't die! Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Eventually you'll lose the platform or leave it behind. I think I. Yeah, bring it with me. At some point it gets stuck and, and then, like, disappears. Like, they've decided it's gone. Um, those balls go through that platform, however, so we got a plan for that. Let's see here if we can get around this. And up and over, and I'm just now noticing that we're well past five minutes. I don't think we're going to eke our way to the other side. Here, let's see these things. One of these gold balls to push out of the way. How far away is the door? Ah! I'm dead again. Alrighty, well, it looks like the door is probably around the corner. Should we go and make it? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, okay, it's really close. Let's just finish. Oh, that's easy. And done. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. That was the first five or so minutes of Defy Gravity.